this is Jen and welcome back to my channel. I'm thinking of making Track Tuesdays weekly but only three times a month instead of four so that the fourth week I can actually focus on getting some other kinds of videos out for you and a lot of you guys have been requesting more makeup tutorials so let me know what you think about that idea. But anyway this week was a toss up between the SK2 Stamp Power Moisturizing Cream and the Clear Lip Liqueurs which have been all the rage at the moment. I've got seven of the shades, I'm missing the eighth one because I think I gave it away to someone when I was in Australia and there have been two new recent shades that came out but I haven't been able to see them anywhere. I've heard that they're a sort of vampy colors. So today I'll be reviewing the entire range except for those shades that I don't have, number eight and the last two ones which I said I haven't seen before. And I'll also be mentioning some other products that are within the Lip Nicure line such as the Clio Lip Concealer and the Lip Nicure Remover uh, which you have to have if you have the Lip Nicures. So let's get straight into this review. So the Clio Lip Nicures look like this and they're a really cute little bottle. The concept is basically it's a manicure for your lips hence the name Lip Nicure and the cute little bottles as well. The shades are actually quite varied so there are muted nude colors and then there are some really bright bold colors as well so it reaches out to almost everybody. There are warm and cool tones as well and they are super duper pigmented. So the applicator is a twist open bottle. It's like a dofa shape and it's got like a concave shape to it so that the top part which is curved upwards is kind of like the surface of your fingertip. I think that's what they're aiming to do. And then the inner part allows you to sort of get into the inner cord the inner corners of your lips and also line it in a precise way. I personally don't think you can get a really precise um, application with this and I think that it's best to use a brush but it would have been really good if they made the tip a little bit pointy so it can be really precise especially for the darker colors like the red. They also come in this cute little black box and they have the color of the shade that you purchased at the top and also the font lip liqueur which is written in this sort of like gothic horror movie sort of style and it claims to be a manicure for the lips specially developed to provide extreme long-lasting effect and high intensity colors for a flawless finish with a single touch upon the lips. They come with 4.7 grams of product and the expiry date is 18 months. The instructions say to start from the inner part of the lips and then kind of blend it out lightly. Then leave it for 30 seconds to allow it to set. And after that, you can basically do anything and it won't smudge off your lips all day long. That's what it claims to do. And if you want the enamel coating effect, you know, manicures have base coats and top coats. That's the whole concept of this. They have a top coat which you can place on top of the lip color to create that coated look. So in the range there is also a concealer. It comes in like a lipstick form. It's a lip concealer obviously. And this is for if you want to gradient your lips or if you want to just erase the color of your lips beforehand. But I don't really recommend this completely as a whole base because it really dries out the lips. And if you've got any patchiness or dryness, it will really accentuate that. In terms of pricing, they cost about Imanon in Korea, $20. So I'm sure if you sort of salvage online, you can find it for cheaper than that. For some reason, I find that Korean cosmetics can be cheaper outside of Korea. That's really strange, but... Anyway, let me go through the shades for you. So starting from number one, it starts from the lightest color. And number one is called Trouble Peach. It's a really pretty, pretty nude, muted peach color. I think it really suits warm undertone skin very well. It suits me very well. Number two is a hot pink. It's called Nasty Pink and it's a really true, true hot sort of Barbie pink color. I think this one suits both warm and cool tone people and the color is so gorgeous. If this was a manicure, I would absolutely love it. And number three is Crime Pink. It's a really pretty muted pink color so it's different from number one in that it's a bit more of a pink rather than a peach or nude color number four is cynical orange and it's a really bright fluoro sort of orange color this is kind of cool toned i personally don't really suit it very well though Number five is a Revenge Pink. A lot of people like this one. It's a true sort of hot fuchsia pink color that leans a little bit towards red. Number six is called Rumor Coral. And this one is a coral color that leans more towards orange and red as well. It's, it's a really strong coral color. It doesn't really suit me unless I gradient this one out. Number seven is Tension Red. And this is the one that Sandara Park pulls off the best in the advertisements. This looks really good on Asian skin tones. So this is a true classic red that's got a warm undertone to it. And number eight is called Guilty Pink and I think it's like a hot violet sort of fuchsia. So it leans a little bit more towards purple and it's got a blue undertone to it. For me, I personally have had these for months and I 
have to tell you guys my honest opinion about these. First of all, I think the colors are amazing. They're very super, super pigmented. I think they're probably the most pigmented, high intensity color lip products out there on the Korean market. In terms of lasting power, okay, once it sets on your lips, it's truly set for good. And even if you sort of like use your fingers to scratch it off or use a waterproof makeup remover to take it off, it really doesn't come off. So you really do have to use the lip nicure remover, which makes it really difficult like when you come home for a long day of work. It claims to be a matte finish, but I personally don't think it's very matte because once you feel your lips afterwards, it's really sticky. It's not one of those products where you put it on your lips and you forget that it's there. You definitely feel it there and a lot of people have likened it to paint. It kind of really feels like you've got paint on your lips and then when it dries, it dries almost like a paint does. So that after a while, you start to get a little bit of like paint peeling or cracking effect towards the inner part of the lip. It does crack in a very unattractive way. And I have to mention that if you've got any sort of patchiness, dryness, or any flakiness on your lips, it will completely accentuate it. And I think that is the determining factor for what makes these so, so difficult to work with. Whilst it lasts for a long time, if it starts to patch up, it's really difficult to take it all off and just reapply because you'll need to take this around with you and this also takes a while to work its magic to take it all off. It's quite a lot of work to maintain this and I'm not sure if you guys ever had this experience but some lipsticks, towards the inside part of your lips, you might find that the lipsticks sort of tend to patch up and become white. Well, what happens with these is the inner part of that area becomes white as well. It kind of like solidifies and then it becomes like a really ugly layer of white product and it's like kind of clumped up together and very difficult to remove. So that can tend to happen with these lip nicures. So although the colors are so gorgeous, I really really think that that is one of the biggest negatives of this product. Secondly, they have very very strong uh, fragrances. The formula itself contains like jojoba oil and argan oil and stuff, but the smell of it is like almost like a mix between paint and some really strong fragrance oil and the fragrance doesn't disappear as well throughout the entire time that you've got this product on your lips you can smell it but you can also taste the smell and it's really strong usually smells don't bother me but the smell of these actually do kind of bother me and give me a little bit of a headache even the remover has a smell that is kind of bothersome kudos to Clio for coming up with such beautiful colors and also a very unique product that is not out there on the market the packaging is super cute the size is just so perfect for carrying around and it's pretty light and the products last for like 18 months they've got beautiful colors but my overall thoughts about this product is that the cons for me outweigh the pros there are days where I really love it because the colors are so gorgeous and then most other days when I'm using it I'm just feeling like it's a waste of my time and a waste of money and at first I'm sure you guys remember I posted up that I really was enjoying these lip nicures. I did like it at first but after these little problems started to surface I realized that it's definitely not something I would use regularly or often. So I personally would not highly recommend these products to you guys but if you really want to make them work, just make sure your lips are really well scrubbed, really well exfoliated. And this is a little personal tip for you guys. Lip primer. Mix it together and apply it with a brush. Don't use silicone based primers like for your face because that will take away the longevity of the lip nicures and it'll become really easy to smudge and transfer onto things. Some of you guys might just be asking then why not just apply some lip balm beforehand. I've tried many different lip balms and it actually does not work. It still dries out your lips for some reason. So this is the product that I found works to make it stick, make it smoother and, and decrease any of the problems of the accentuating the dryness. Or try mixing it together with your own lip primers if you've got any. This one has a little bit of color in it so it does mute the color down a little bit when you mix it. But I personally like that because I like nude sort of colors anyway. Anyway, so that's my review for the Lip Nicures. I give this product 3 out of 5, I can't give it too high of a rating because of the tediousness of working with it. And would I purchase them again? I am not too sure about that. There are some colors that I absolutely love, but at the same time there are lipsticks that I have the same colors in these as well, which don't create the cracked lip problem and it's not so hard to take off and retouch up. So. I probably will not purchase again, but I can't rule that out for sure. I think I might have to see once I run out. If I miss the shades, I might go and buy like one or two, but they're definitely not a must-have in my makeup collection. So I hope that this was informative for you guys, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!
Thank you.